A student who can't read at grade level by third grade is four times less likely to graduate high school than one who can. Despite approaches like phonics and whole language, many learners still struggle with reading. Research shows significant differences in working memory between skilled and less skilled readers. Working memory allows a person to temporarily hold and manipulate a limited amount of information. It's thought that readers with low working memory have difficulty combining new information with what they already know. To recognize the meaning of sentences while reading, students must first hold individual sounds and then words in their working memory as they figure out how these relate to one another. As learners grow and encounter more complex information, difficulties with working memory may become more apparent. What does low working memory look like? Students with low working memory may be easily distracted and behave as though they are not paying attention. In reading or writing, they may forget some or all of the words in a sentence or sequence of words. Or, they may lose their place, repeating or skipping letters and words. As a result, they may struggle to understand how sentences or words relate to one another. How can you support students' working memory? No approach will work for all learners, but there are some research-based approaches that can be helpful. Repeat instructions and break down complex tasks into single steps. Have students create organizers like wall charts and checklists they can refer back to and use to stay on track. Provide options like audiobooks, manipulatives, or physical activities connected to learning, like walking or tossing a ball. These learning methods can help them focus. Reading skills are necessary for student success. With awareness and interventions, it is possible to help those with low working memory become proficient readers and improve their learning outcomes for the rest of their lives. To learn more, visit the Digital Promise Research Map.